Urban composting is one of the most important things you can probably do within the sustainability realm, given the limited amount of resources that, that we have within urban setups. The biggest way I have found to make a huge difference is composting. And this specific technique I want to show you is something a little bit different. And what it does is it allows you to use food scraps, chuck it into an earth factory and create compost. The big trick here is that you don't have to go through the whole Bokashi fermentation process. For some people, the smell and the dirtiness is just too much to handle and that's perfectly fine, each to their own. Um, so this technique, it takes a little bit longer, but it works on the same principle, that throw food in, layer it with some compost, layer of food, compost layer, etc, etc. Close it when you get to the top and then you leave it. The process will probably take a little bit longer than two months. Um, this is in the beginning, so the next time I'll speak to you is when it has turned into compost so that I can tell you exactly how long it took. But for now, I'm going to show you how to turn stuff like this into stuff like this. Okay, so to get this done, all you need is a really good quality bag of compost. You can just see in the color and the texture the difference between a good compost and a not so good one. Then what you need is obviously the food scraps and then most importantly is you need an earth factory. This one is from Earth Probiotic. Um, they sell them in packs of two. It's a really, really good product. It takes up uh, 600 by 600 millimeter tiles space, very little space. Put it away in a corner and you let it do its magic. It's really awesome. So to get the proper process starting, you're gonna fill the first third of the bag with compost. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna start layering in your food. And what you wanna do is you wanna go for, I'd say five to 10 centimeter thick layers, nothing too thick because obviously it all needs to break down. Okay, so that's probably enough for, for one layer. We're going to add some more compost and we're just going to mix it around. The compost touches all of the different fruit particles so we can start getting those microorganisms all mixed together. Yeah, then it's time for our next layer. Okay, then the very important part is we're going to close this up and we have to keep it closed to make sure we keep all the, the little critters and everything out that want to get hold of this. We struggle with baboons, there's no way they're going to get into this bag. And then what we do is at the end of every day, second day, week, whenever, we're just going to add a layer, put more compost, layer compost until it's at the top. Once it's at the top, we're gonna let it stand and see how long it needs to stand for for the whole thing to turn into a huge bag of compost. So I will see you next time when the compost is ready. Two and a half months later and I'm back. This time with some extra goodies. I have the earth factory with me that's filled up, been waiting to see what's inside it for the last two months. I've got a nice kids sand pit that I picked up at the dump and then a little sieve that I made just out of some things lying around and now we're going to empty this out and we're going to see how well the Bokashi has decomposed and turned into highly nutritious living compost. Let's see what it looks like. So I've got a correction to make before I take you into the rest of the video and that is that I got my words mixed up. This show and tell on the compost is actually about the raw food waste that I put into the earth factory and not Bokashi that I kept saying throughout the video. Got my words mixed up so whenever you hear me saying Bokashi subsequently in the video just remember it's actually raw food waste. I have a separate video on 
how the Bokashi performed, which I'll tag up here for you. Then you can see how different they are and how they perform, how they broke down. Um, but in essence, raw food waste, Bokashi, it's gonna do the same thing for you in the same amount of time. Bokashi is just gonna break down significantly more and quicker than the food. So something to bear in mind with the raw food waste that you're adding into the earth factory, the moisture content is going to be higher. So the compost is going to be gluggier. And that's because if you know anything about Bokashi, you'll know that you end up with Bokashi tea. As the food ferments, all the liquids go to the bottom. You go to tap and you drain all the liquids out. I've drained up to three liters of liquid out before. So obviously when you're using the raw food waste, you don't have that tap for when the food breaks down to let it out. So it gets absorbed into the materials in the bag. So the compost is slightly gluggier and moist. However, it still gives you the exact same thing. Okay, so to finish this up, you'll need a spade or something. It's going to get messy. So don't think you're gonna have clean hands. However, this is also me showing you what it looks like. So you could potentially take the bag, empty it into a pot, a bed, mix it in without it ever touching your hands. I'm sacrificing some grossness just to show you what it looks like. Before we start sieving out the compost, let's have a look and see what's inside the bag first. Okay, so from the last time I saw you to now, you can see there's a very big difference in what this looks like. It's thick, rich. The only thing so far that looks like it hasn't really decomposed are the egg shells, which is perfectly understandable because those can sometimes take years to break down. So let's sieve this out and see what we have. So what we have is a very dark, rich compost in two months. Just from a dark bag sitting in the corner from fermented Bokashi compost. So, I mean, this stuff is amazing. If you don't have space for a compost bin, it's an absolute no-brainer. And after two months, you have highly nutritious compost that has come from your food waste. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, please share it with your network so we can all start composting, all start reducing our food waste. And yeah, please subscribe to, to my journey so you can stay up to date with, with what I'm doing and I can share my knowledge with you as and when I learn and experience new things. Until then, happy composting and give it a go.